What's going on guys? Kefori Brothers here for a video and it feels like it's been a very long time once again. It's because it's been a long time. It's man. been a long time. Yeah, I think the last long video long was like a Mustang video. I don't know. I forget. It's been uh, a while. Our YouTube channel stinks. Stinks. <laughs> Pizza stinks. stinks. Zero. Double zeros. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing a 450,000 mile E55 AMG update. Yeah, and, it's uh, about time. And uh, I don't think we've done one in two years. Two years. I think the last one we did might have been like four fifteen, four twenty, four fifteen, right something there. like that. Yeah, I say, I'll look up. While. It's been it's been a long time. Yeah, actually, I have it right here. Yeah, four fifteen. It's been a while. Two Why'd years. Why'd you you didn't know if you had it written down? I, I, I want to, to take a look. You know, I got my little cheat sheet right here. I got some things. I got some things to talk about on this video. Um, yeah, I said for anyone that doesn't, you know, for if you live under a rock, basically, this is our two thousand three E fifty five AMG. It's got four hundred fifty thousand miles on it. We got it at four hundred. Um, and the point of this video is we're going to tell you in the last 35,000 miles what how much it's hey, costing. You know your math on that up, right? What? You said we got it at 400, that's 450, and we're going to tell you how much it costs in the last 35,000? No, this is only everything that we've spent and fixed in, since 415, since the last update video. Oh, it's not since, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this right. is the last update okay. video. All right, all right, makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. last update video, and I got the paper right here. I'll let you guys know because you guys are pretty curious, you know, what it costs to you know, put some miles on it. All right, so obviously in the last 35,000 miles, we have done seven oil changes. And we're about to do another one, or 450,000 mile yeah. one. So that's, you might say, eight oil changes. Um, a lot of people are going to say, it's, you know, we, there's been a bunch of people that said, oh, you don't need to do 5,000 mile changes. Well, we like always do around five. They say, you know, seven, eight, ten. I'm like, no, it's listen. Supposed to it up. You do it to your car. We're, we're sticking to about the five range. And so. for anyone that's going to put in the comments, we use uh, Mobile One, OW40, like you're supposed to. Um, we've done two sets of tires. Uh, two batteries, the, the the main battery and the aux battery. Yeah. Transmission fluid, we changed it once. We have another, we have an appointment this week, the coming yeah, up. Yeah, done again. So that miles will be two and 35,000 yeah, miles. Yeah, just, just letting you guys know, these are, a lot of people said uh, when these cars came out, they're still for life transmission, but they're, they're not. not. You life. should be doing fluid changes for the transmission at about... I want to say what thirty to forty thousand. Yeah, it'd be safe, especially on higher mileage cars. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want you don't want to do a full fluid flush. You just want to do a change filter and yeah. I so you, you don't want to actually do a, a fluid flush just to change because all all that new transmission fluid at one time can shock. The, I guess the, the gremlins it, come out. Yeah, like it's, the it's supposedly sore, supposedly gremlins. it's not good. So you do a fluid change. We get our uh, kit from FCP Euro. It's like a hundred dollars. Yeah. I think it's the fluid, the filter, the gasket, and maybe that new cap too. I think I forget. Something but anyways, like keep going. We're about there. to do that. Um. Flex disc, change those. Yep. Third brake light, had to change that. It was bad. Shifter linkage, we had it changed once, then it broke because the dealer, I don't know if they didn't put it in the right, but so yeah, it got fixed we, again. We had a, yeah, we had a, a new shifter linkage installed for like a preventative maintenance thing because they wear out and we didn't want to get stuck somewhere where the shifter, you know, it doesn't go in the gear. And we had the dealership do that. And not that, even a month later. I don't know if they didn't install it right or whatnot. I think but, the piece fell. But yeah, we had to get the car towed because it was stuck in. And was it stuck, stuck in, in reverse? Stu it was stuck in reverse. Yeah. So we had to get it towed, and uh, obviously they took care of that for us. Yeah, that, that was there. free. You know, Mercedes Benz roadside assistance. They picked it up for free, towed it to our Mercedes dealer for free. It was pretty nice. Um, so we got that done. Torque thrust arms, we did those. Uh, we did a coolant flush once. Right? Yeah, once. Just once on that. Because the other yeah. one was done at like 412. Yeah. So it was done in that. Brake fluid we did recently. Uh, differential fluid we did. Headlight lenses. We changed those. Obviously, everybody complained well, every time we post a picture yeah. that the headlight lenses were bad. We, we actually made a video on that, too. We made a video. It's actually it got a lot of views on that. And if, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Because it's $50. It changes the appearance of your car. Yeah, it makes it like... It's literally the best thing we ever oh, did Oh, man. Car. I wish, that and the wheels. If that you haven't noticed, we got the new wheel... The new... OEM uh, style wheels, the SL version, because we wanted yeah, the Yeah, the, the, the stock EVD5 wheels, I think, I want to say they're a 8 in the front and 9 rear. We go with the SL version, they're 8.5 front, 9.5 rear. Gives it like a little, you know, better yeah, stance. Yeah, it gives it a better look. Looks way nicer. It fills in the wheel, wheel wells better and stuff. So. Yeah, so, you know, just, just by changing the headlight lenses and throwing the stock wheels back on, the SL versions, it completely changed the look of the car. It looks like it doesn't even look the I same. I say it looks like it's got not even near, near as many miles as it does. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. So definitely, uh, you know, headlight lenses. That's another good video. I think it's we got good views on that. Definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, and then we had a battery drain issue, which was um, that was uh, winter of twenty twenty. It was the two. So if you guys don't know, uh, if you guys don't follow us, don't know the story. The battery was dying overnight, like cut like yeah. five six hours completely we'll dead. Get the, uh, the battery message on the screen but then it would drain so much to the point where you literally couldn't even start the car yeah so we got it looked at and what happened was um a common issue on these cars is the power seat control module on the driver's side well not only was the driver's side bad 
the passenger side back, so they were equally drawing the power. So it ended up being both, and actually we still have yet to replace those. We, we just disconnected them. them, yeah. Yeah, we're about the same height, so we you know we put the seats where we like. No one drives the car but us. Yes, there were only people driving this thing. Us and maybe when we take to the dealership and they do an yeah. inspection, but. Yeah, so you know, if yeah. you're a tall guy, I mean, you, 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 no one drives the car, so it's just us. So those have been disconnected for two, two years and we haven't changed those. Um, <laughs> So we've done a decent amount of uh, work. We also, um, what's the module that's for the air? I don't know if it's called a heater control module. Heater or control what. valve. Heater Something, control. yeah. But anyways, what was happening was in the summer, when we have the, the AC running, the back was blown out uh, really hot. But it would do it every now and then. Sometimes yeah. it works. Sometimes, so we ordered the part, which I did not include in here because we haven't fixed it yet. Yeah, see, I forgot how much it was. But, we, but it started working again, so we never fixed it. So we had that. And then we also had um, the car one day whenever we pulled up to the stop sign and shut off on us. And... I didn't, we didn't get any codes, but a lot of people say it's probably the, um, oh boy, what's that called? You can pop it up on the screen. I forget what the sensor is. It's in on the back of the engine. We bought it, but never replaced it. Because it, it, that happened 20 We never had ago. the problem again, so I figured if there's no code, no issue, we're just going to let it go until what happens again, so. And then, uh, let's see what it's else. Not a, it's not the, oh man, it's not the, I know it's not the crankshaft position sensor. I don't think it is, but no. one of those other sensors, I forget which one it is, but. And then, um, let's see what else. Other than that, I mean, it's been pretty smooth sailing. We had... If you guys follow us on Instagram at the 40 Brothers, if you don't follow us, shame on you. Yeah, but uh, shame. about two weeks ago, we are shown, uh, we posted a video of a problem we've noticing. Since the day we bought this car, uh, it obviously it burns a lot of oil. It's got you know, 40, 50,000 miles. But, I said for people that are wondering, I think, I would say it, it's about a quart every thousand miles. Yeah, roughly. Somewhere around about a quart, yeah. But uh, when you give when you get on the car, like, you know, give it a good acceleration. 50% plus raw. 50% plus, like Matt said, um, you'll see a big trail of black smoke, which is we figured out is a... Uh, it's unburnt fuel, most likely caused by our manifold being completely shot. Our cat is completely shot. So, uh, and well, I, think I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would say that might be the cause. A lot of people said well, what was happening is um, it's more of just the passenger side of the car. You could tell the exhaust yeah. are really, really blocking outside. Which is that that, that manifold is completely shot. Yeah, for sure. that side we know the exhaust manifold is a crack, and then we think our cats are toast too because. Um, Whenever the car, whenever the engine's hot and we're like going up to a stop sign, sometimes it like burbles, like yeah, crackles it sounds a little like bit. we got a tune on it. it. Sounds like you have a crackle tune on most, which we don't. And um, we also notice it too sometimes when you're going down a steep hill and like you know the engine, the RPMs will kind of hold at like two twenty five hundred just to you know keep the speed of the car mm -hmm. consistent. We'll know sometimes it'll also leave a trail of smoke when we're doing that. Like, and then also if we go up a steep hill for you know a, a long, long period, steep hill, long steep hill. Sometimes when you get to the top, it'll let out some smoke, but uh. Some people have said maybe it's our, our what, valves, uh, valve, set valve, valve seals or head gaskets, but I mean. I said people are just throwing all kind of speculations, but. The, it's the, been 50,000 miles. I say the engine runs smooth, sounds smooth, the gas, gas mileage has been perfect, power is, is still there, so. Uh, we'll, she, can do, she can still do a mean burn. We're not going to worry about doing anything to it right now. We're just going to just keep driving and just we'll worry about it later. Um, it gets worse. But yeah, I said that was, it. we figured that out. Other than that, everything's uh, pretty much the same. We're still daily yeah. driving it. Uh Oil change going to service. Like I said we're yep. doing a transmission. Oil change here next week. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, you, know, give you guys a little update for some update. guys that are wondering. It's been out two there. years. People ask about it. If you follow us on our Instagram account, you guys already know all this. Cause yeah, I say we're Instagram. We're really active. We're on there every day, daily. all day, basically. Yeah. And, and uh, YouTube is just not really. It's just <laughs> piss poor productions. But we're here. We're doing a video. We're telling you what is all. Oh, so uh, the whole point is we forgot to tell them how much it costs. Don't tell so me. since the last video, 415,000 mile update, that was the last video two years ago, we put 35,000 miles plus some change. We have spent just shy of $4,200 on maintenance, which is not bad. It's not bad. Not There's bad. No, that does not include all the oil spent in between oil changes to top it off. There's a lot of people that, that are going to say, I mean, there's going to be people who say that's not that bad. There's going to be a lot of people that say that's, that's like terrible. Like, oh my gosh, $4,200 or hundred for, you know, 35,000 miles. We need to keep in mind, you know, it's an old German car. Like, you know, these cars require a lot of attention. So. It's not bad because people yeah. always ask us that don't, you know, that are like looking in to buy older Mercedes, older German cars in general, and they say how much it costs to maintain. And we tell them, rule of thumb, expect 2500 a year. Just whatever. I mean, we're under that. That's not bad. Yeah, I say, well, maybe not even 2500 I mean, we do a lot of the work ourselves, too, so I, I say, save some if money. If you can do a lot of the work yourself, you're going to save a ton of money. But, you know, when you have an older car like this, there's always going to be things popping up. And, and, you know, if you're not prepared to spend some money, then you shouldn't be really buying one of these. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. so that's that's pretty much it for this video. Thirty five thousand miles, four hundred fifty thousand update video, forty two hundred bucks spent. Um, and follow us at the Conforti Brothers, on, you know, on Instagram. That's you know, you guys see us there all the time. Yeah. And until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it's not like a month from now, but we'll see you in the next video.